What's happening, guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. If you're sick of Arvon, you might as well just skip this video, guys, because we're dealing with more Arvon beer. It is another New England style from them. This is going to be the Double South Haven. Uh, I have never had this one before. I believe it's been around the block for quite some time. But again, new for me, so I'm going to break it down and review it for you guys. And I appreciate you clicking on the video. This beer is coming in at 9.2% ABV. And this is the double version of South Haven, a Lighthouse Series New England style IPA with Galaxy. Uh, and actually, that's it. I thought there was going to be more hops, but it's just Galaxy. Um, that's it, guys. Again, it's the double version, so we kind of have a dip, if you will. Coming in at $5.59 for one of these cans. A nice little can art going on around this wrap. I enjoy this. So, guys, if you're tired of Arvon, I'm sorry, but they make damn good beer, and I have to try them all. So here we are trying another Arvon. Look at that hazy boy. I'm liking that. I'm going to pour it a little bit aggressively. I probably did too aggressively, guys, but it's beautiful New England style look in the glass. I mean, there's nothing left to say, guys. You have that dark yellow kind of uh, golden orange mixture going on. Pretty good carbonation stream to the top. Massive compacted head, about two and a half, three fingers worth, but I'm pouring like a crazy man. Um, I'm going to try to top this off a little bit. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. It is indeed... April 1st, time of recording, so we are on a brand new month, guys. Spring is among us, very, very closely. So if you look at this beer, though, guys, it's sexy. I mean, this is sexy beer alert. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we should have all the flashes and the editing, but I don't do that yet. Uh, it's a great looking beer in the glass. There's a crazy, crazy, densely packed head there. Kind of off-white, actually. Not your bright eggshell white, if you will, but it's got a little bit of creaminess to it. Um, Almost a deceiving amount of creaminess, actually. So trying to let this go down a little bit. But as I'm already smelling these aromatics, guys, it's a citrus burst. It's a citrus tropical burst in your nose. Um, let me see if I can get it after this one. It's a, this is a little bit too much head. It's a little too much, but let's crack into this. Uh, see what we're dealing with. A little bit of dry, earthy, sweet pine. Just this amazingly sweet sugar-coated white bread. I mean, just, it, this is, it, wow. It's It smells mouth-watering, actually, but it's got this big sweetness and juiciness to it. A lot of citrus, a lot of citrus. I get a little bit of like fresh squeezed lemon. I get a little bit of like uh, navel orange juiciness. I get a little bit of uh, that, that tangerine pithiness. A lot of grapefruit. And again, the signature Arva, maybe a little bit of peach in there, guys. Uh, it is what it is. Let's dive in. It's the Double South Haven. Let's go for it. More bitterness than I'd expect. I mean, that's actually a lot of bitterness to start it off. Let's go in for another sip. Let's see if that's correct. Wow. For as juicy and sweet that it is on the forefront, it dries out with this intense bittering on the back end. So much bitterness that I didn't expect coming out. It's got navel orange, kind of like almost um, blood orange, pithy skin, uh, grapefruit zest, um, grapefruit juiciness, like you're literally cutting open a grapefruit, getting the spoon in, you're getting the skin, the seeds, uh, uh, all of that in one bite, just coupled with that lemon and tangerine and, and blood orange. It's just, it's got all these qualities to it. A little bit of that stone fruit, maybe a little peachy thing underneath. Uh, dry pine, um, a little bit of sweet honey in there. And then pithy navel orange, grapefruit zest, dryness on the back end with a complete bittering on the back end that kind of evens out and, and actually overdoes, overpowers the sweetness on the forefront. It's, it's wow. You don't expect this kind of uh, a bitterness or dryness on this uh, dipper, guys. It just seems like it's going to be overly sweet, overly juicy. 
maybe a lot of malt driven in here, 9.2% ABV, goes down quite easily, reminds me of like almost a, a short beer with the bitterness coming out on the back end, just, uh, just really reminds me of a high IBU IPA, it's just um, not what I expected, but I, it's enjoyable, like it's something I, I didn't see coming. Yeah, more pine, more dryness, more more like lemon skin, more grapefruit skin, grapefruit zest. Again, um, just dries out completely on the back end with an incredible bitterness. It, it's it's well balanced for nine point two percent, almost overbalanced in the one direction of bitterness and dryness um, on the back end. It's incredibly good though. I mean, peachy skin. Um, it, it's everything's the skin on the back end. Uh, Pithy, zesty. It's got all of that. Um, yeah. Wow. Rating. Unexpected. For as big a beer as this is, all those hazies that you see, guys, usually they're just way too sweet. This one reminding you and punching you with a big hop kick and, and just uh, surprise that you don't expect. It's still an IPA at the end of the day, and they let you know it. 4.1 out of 5. It's a big beer. It's drinkable. Um, could have gone higher, but it almost is like so surprising. I didn't expect it, guys, in, in the direction of bitterness and dryness. Still a phenomenal uh, dip up from, from our run, guys. So, yeah, uh, 4.1 out of 5. It's been the Double South Haven. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Catch you on the next review. Cheers.